one, owner Sean Ninest of Dallas Vintage Toys. So every now and then people will kind of get a glimpse of some of the stuff I'm collecting or the doors left open, they get a peek back here. So we're just gonna introduce a little bit of the items that I collect. And once again, everyone that works at Dallas Vintage Toys is a collector. So uh, we don't only sell toys, we actually collect them as well. So some of the items I collect are gonna be uh, we have uh, proof cards, we have uh, top toys, we have the Canadian uh, 12 backs, uh, more proof cards. This was the uh, Young Jedi Melway where they were trying to relive, uh, I guess, after 83, 84, try to get uh, new collectors. Uh, as you can see, it says the son of John A. Sample, 123 Main Street, Any Town, USA, 12345. And then, let's see. So we have some prototypes up here. There's a Kenner bag, the Adat Commander, and uh, he's just shot in gray, sealed in the Kenner bag. Then we have a George Doucette with a overpour on the feet. I always thought that was kind of funny. It kind of reminds me of the Seinfeld where Kramer's wearing the shoes. And let's see. And if anyone can tell me what this is, we actually got this in. This is a uh, wax sculpt hard copy R2-D2. So no one's been able to figure this out. We don't know if it's like a micro machine or something like that, but you can see the detail on that. So if you know, just comment below. And there's also a Ghostbuster proof card. I'm a big fan of uh, collecting Letty figures. So one of the newest pieces in the collection, I was able to get a uh, Letty factory sealed Max Rebo band. It's really cool. It's got a clear bubble. It came from the original owner. And I've been working on this piece for about five years. And uh, it's really cool that he allowed me to get this in my collection. I said he can visit it anytime he wants. So, <laughs> And he knows that I do collect. And uh, I, I was also able to pick up this uh, content sealed uh, Millennium Falcon from... Uh, Mexico as well, so that's pretty neat. Uh, trying to get one of each uh, carded figure on a foreign card. So here's the Meccano sand person. Kind of have a sand person focus. I didn't really mean to do that, but it just kind of happened. Oops. Here's the 12 inch Luddy Tuscan Raider. Then I do like Astromex quite a bit. This is one of my favorite proof cards. It's the R2-D2 with the uh, no nameplate up there, Revenge of the Jedi. And I've had this for several years. This actually came from the Kenner employee. This is the Sears Cantina. Uh, these are all first shot prototypes. Here we have Hammerhead, Greedo, the Blue Snaggletooth, and Walrus Man. So these are all owned by the gentleman, and I had them all encased. And this is the uh, Canadian GDE Pyramid logo, uh, RTD2 12 back. We actually got this from the original owner. The story behind this is that they were cleaning out his uh, house and uh, they wanted to donate these. And I was like, no, I have to pay you all for these. I would not feel comfortable taking these from you all. So. It's a nice gesture, but uh, yeah, he got paid handsomely for those. Then we have a Empire Strikes Back a six pack. There's uh, two versions of these. I believe the other one has a, the red background. And over here we have 
some Luddy figures. Another recent pickup is the uh, Cloud Car Pilot. This was just graded. So if anyone has any carded Letty figures that uh, I don't have, I think I have a hand trench coat currently being graded as well, but we have the Emperor, Royal Guard, TIE Fighter Pilot, Zuckus, Neenum, B-Wing Pilot. And what's kind of neat about the uh, B-Wing Pilot It's supposed to have a uh, Luke uh, blaster and it has a gray Leia blaster so it's kind of a miscard weapon and then let's see I think there's one more air oh. I think this is the other one the Leia has a blue blaster and she's supposed to have the uh, gray blaster but I also have, obviously, uh, this Leia. We have uh, Lumat, Wicket, Cloud Car Pilot, Jawa, Luke Jedi, and Weakway. Then the special offer BDT-8. Then a few more Letty mini rigs. If anyone has the... Uh, seven inch uh, Darth Vader. That's the last one I need for my collection. So that'd be cool to pick up. And then everyone knows I have a bunch of sneakers too. So um, the Chunky Dunkies right here. And these are all new old stock, never worn. Ben and Jerry's. Then, so I know, or I was born in 1980 and I never grew up with Star Wars until I was 12. But before that, I had G.I. Joe. So I have a bunch of G.I. Joe factory sealed vehicles down there. These are a lot of the ones that I grew up with or I remember buying at Target or Toys R Us back in the day. And some of the other stuff I collect, uh, I might keep one item out of a certain collection just because the story behind it, like the power glove. I'm keeping one of those that actually came from a Mattel employee that worked there for 34 and a half years. Uh, we got the Kenner alien, a couple Barbie dolls, uh, some top toys figures that actually came from the family member that owned, uh, the toy company. Just a few other knickknacks up there. We have the Takara, G.I. Joe vehicles. As I said before, I like Astromex. I have an R2-D2 cookie jar up there and also one down there. And uh, this is kind of one of my favorite store displays. The uh, vacuum form Yoda. It's about three feet tall. And uh, as you can see, we're always getting toys in. So it's, uh, I've been doing this since uh, 92. So I'm 42 this year. So about 30 years uh, collecting toys and uh, buying, selling, and trading. And uh, it's just um, something I've always done. And just looking back at everything that I've bought and sold, uh, my employees got me back into collecting. So Obviously, owning a toy store, you can't collect everything. You have to sell some items. So that's why I have like a very niche uh, kind of collection. I do have some more items at home, uh, but this is just what's on display at the store. So um, I'm sure we'll show off some of our other employees' collections going forward. And uh, you can get to know 
what we collect and uh, I also collect uh, miss cards too. So this is the uh, Nikto on the Walrus Man card. And I collect modern ones, but most of them are currently being graded. Then here's the Luke Skywalker on the Han Solo card. But yeah, that's just a little peek inside my office and personal collection. So, uh, if y'all see anything that I need for my collection, just uh, comment below and uh, thanks for watching.